Saturday evening. Pack, 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 pack. Gunshots. I came to the Panyard and I started the verse and chorus on the 7th of January, 2018. Emotionally broken. Devon Stewart, the man behind the music. The documentary is set to premiere in Tobago. Of course, there was a premiere that took place in Trinidad, and we had him here with us in studio this morning. Devon Stewart joins us via Zoom to continue the conversation and get ready for the premiere at Shaw Park Complex Main Auditorium in Tobago. Good morning, Mr. Stewart. Good morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the show. I mean, uh, the, virtually this time, but welcome back, same virtually way. Virtually this time, yeah, yeah, man. It's a pleasure All right, to be so back this morning, man. Last time you were here, we were talking about the Trinidad premiere of, of the documentary. Um, I wanted to get some feedback in terms of how was the reception, how people, how did people respond to seeing the documentary when it showed here in Trinidad? Um, it, was a, it, was, it was amazing. It was well received by those who attended. Um, initially, it was an RSVP event, and mm -hmm. the movie town of the term could only hold about, like, about 250 people. We had something like about 1,500 people RSVPing for this event. I know everybody wanted to see it. And when that's coming to see the ones through the big screen to see the the, 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 the the program, the premiering of the man behind the music, it was well received by who was there. And, I'm, and I'm, I couldn't be more grateful and thankful for the support that I received on that night. Yeah. And it, did you... Tonight. Did you have a desire to take it to Tobago, or was that always part of the, pl the plan from Jack? That was always part of the plan, you know, because um, when I was approached by Mr. Mark Lupin to say that, yo, Duvon, so we need to do your story, you know, I say, yo, Tobago had to be in this, you know, because I'm a son of the soil, and I was born in Tobago, did my, my first level of education back in Tobago, um, it was a place that the bridge was laid for me to be where I am today, you know, as the mm -hmm. poor people say, never down the bridge that they cross the reach where reach. And so I had the opportunity to be blessed with a, 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 a group of individuals that supported my my journey. So being 40 years in the business now, it's only fitting and only right to, to take it back home to Tobago for, for to say thank you to Tobago. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to when you go back to Tobago to, to show this documentary? Because I imagine there'll be people from your, you know, from your youth, from your village, people who would have taught you along the way that you would want to be there to witness uh, the documentary. But is there anything in particular that you're, that you're looking forward to? No, really, man. I just, I just want to meet and greet everybody who saw the, the vision that, that mm -hmm. Duvon Stewart started back in 1985, 1986, you know, going to school, being miserable. Uh, the old, I would love to see some of my old, old teachers, my old school friends, and and they come out because they have been calling just to get to be a part of this event. You know, just to to, to, to sit down with me and to to see the journey and to see what I've evolved to come out. You know, but the element of surprise is just there to 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 to, to see what what happens on that day on the seventh of December. You know, so I'm I'm really looking forward to it. You know? Is this one also an RSVP event? Or no, is it it's open? free. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free to the nice. whole team to Tobago. Free. All right. I so don't it's happening. To RSVP to Tobago because then um everybody say I ain't, I ain't get no spot. I ain't get no spot. Before. So it's open to the whole general community in Tobago. Nice, and I love that. It's happening next Thursday, the seventh of December, at six thirty p.m. at Shaw Park Complex. The main auditorium, and it's good. I, I mean, I imagine it's going to be rammed out already because if we had that response in Trinidad, I couldn't imagine what the response is going to yeah. be like in Tobago. Now, Duvon, a part of the a part of the story, a part of your journey has been a, a transformation, not just 
mentally, but physically you did a, a huge transformation. Um, do you think that you know th there's going to be a difference in response? Or first of all, let me let me find out what motivated that trans that transformation for you physically. Steel pan. Steel pan was the reason of that that great transformation. And um, when I started my my journey as an arranger, uh, I've been growing slowly in popularity as a household name locally, regionally, and internationally. And I was living an obese life to the point where I, I had lost control of my eating habits, you know, traveling, going all over the place, um, eating in different time zones was one of the, um, the, the, the devastating things that took place for me. And seeing how, how I was being very successful at the point in time, doing my craft and my name, my name was only calling as a winner, calling as a winner. The movement of young individuals came around seeing that they don't want to be like Duvon Stewart, they want to hear from Duvon Stewart, they want to see Duvon Stewart be around for long. So being living that obese life, and I, I didn't really see the need to be continuously killing myself with that, 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 that mindset that I had before. So I went on a journey to, to, to um, change the lifestyle of eating, um, a lot of people wanted to know what I did, and I, I eventually revealed it to many. I, I, I have done a, a gastric sleep surgery on the 6th of September 2016 in Mexico, um, which is a procedure that where they do a, um, the, the cutting of the stomach. Um, it's, my stomach is now 90% less than before. So the intake of food is, is not much as I always used to eat before. From a waist 60 jeans, now down to a waist 34 jeans. From a size 6 extra large t-shirt, now down to a medium t-shirt. From 430 pounds, down to 180 pounds. And I feel immaculately happy, proud that God has given me a new lease in life to see that the greatness that he has embedded me with, the gift that he has bestowed on me with, which is music, which is the universal language to make all human beings communicate with one another and to use the God-given gift that he has blessed Trinidad and Vega with, which was Steve Pan, to, to exercise that musical, spiritual, motivational, inspirational tool to, to make everybody feel happy that, yes, Tuvon Stewart is here and he's here to, to, to give us what he is blessed with. And I'm, I'm proud of that, that journey. And many people ask me the question, you know, what is my greatest achievement to date? You know, being in the business for 40 years, I will always continue to say the life-changing transformation that I've made from 430 pounds to 180 pounds only because of steel pan. Yeah. And it's it's admirable. I, I really want to just just to make, clarify because I know you, you mentioned the surgery, uh, but you also mentioned a lifestyle change. And I think that that they that going together, I think, is what makes the the big difference. It's not just one or the other. And I think a lot of people look for that quick way to get from you know one size to another size, or to lose weight, or to do that transformation. And they want it fast. They want it in time for carnival. They want it, you know, for whatever reasons they may want it. But tell me about some of the lifestyle changes that you had to make. After surgery, I was given a mandate uh, about how to go about healing myself mm -hmm. through the recovery process. And, um, the first three months after surgery was just total liquids, total, total liquids, juicing, because the, the, the stomach itself was just healing back through the, um, the, the cutting and the sleeving of the, the, uh, the procedure that they did. And, and um, from month four till month nine I had was to go through a recalibration process where the body is now regaining strength in what it had lost from before. The metabolism system mechanism that was working in my body was totally damaged mm. and it was replenishing itself. And I had was to go back to see what I can eat from what I cannot eat. Rice, flour, red meat, Process, processed food, um, high sugar food, high salt food, Chinese food, um, soft drinks, and all these carbonated drinks that I, that exist on the list of things that I just gave you are things that I was very much a part of yeah. before surgery and going into recovery mode after the surgery. 
none of these things wasn't wasn't agree with me. So from the time it entered my 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 system, it comes right back up. Wow. So now I do a lot of vegetables. I do things that the body accept, which is um, the, the greens, the, the fish broth, the soups, the salads. Uh, that's just about it. And, um, and I eat in a, I, I don't really have the appetite to eat as I used to eat before. Um, when I do eat is in very, very small portions, I get filled very quick. Um, a lot of water, a lot of water is there because um, the dehydration process was was there and it's still there. You know, um, I'm just just praying and thanking God for for the for the changes that He has made for me to be in right now. You know, so Rome wasn't built in a day, and it was like a twenty four month period that that went along with this whole life change and transformation. You know, but. Funny enough, people didn't recognize who Duvon Stewart was, you know, what he was <laughs> looking like. They didn't make him out, you know. A lot of people used to be talking to me and asking me where Duvon Stewart is, the comedy panel, yeah, where Duvon is. And I used to be so comedy, comedy like wise, you know. So I said, I used to tell him in the back, he lied me in the back. <laughs> I used to go in the back and say, Yeah, we're looking for Duvon. He said, Yeah, just talk to the man in front, but <laughs> so I used to have a grand time <laughs> just having a fun time with people. That's but they gain to accept the the um the new new presence of Duvon Stewart. And and that that comes along with a, a lot of confidence with me now. Mm. Going about my music, you know, where uh, just walking in the streets, you know, just 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 be able to go in a store and shop for a size 34 jeans against going in a big and tall store, against uh, traveling in an aircraft and asking for uh extra seat belt. Um, mm. privately because I don't want to wait to hear accent for the big seat, but, uh, making the other passenger feel uncomfortable being that big. But now, man, I, I, I'm living my best life. I am your best life. So blessed and thankful and grateful that this transformation has made me a very, very confident, spiritually, enjoyably, motivational individual that I could still say to people that believe in God, push, just pray until something happens. And you know, what's, what's interesting for me is even before and after, your musical talents never wavered. Your confidence may have been boosted a little bit, but I, I think your, your musical talents have always been there and always been able to present themselves. And now you just have a whole different uh, perspective on it. So it adds to fueling the fire to continue to give us those arrangements that we love, those award-winning <laughs> arrangements that we definitely love. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> But um, let's uh, back to the back to the documentary and Tobago's um, viewing in particular. Now I imagine that there would be some part of it that would get very very emotional for some people in, to, in Tobago. Anything in particular you want to warn them about before they come to see the documentary this time around? Or did they giving them it full? Let them experience I have, it. I haven't seen the documentary. I want to sit in the audience. I want to sit in the audience and be. Viewing this program with them, viewing this documentary with them, because I've been invited by Miss Marion News to come and see the, the finishing of the product. And I told her, no, I want to take this moment to go back home to Tobago, sit in the auditorium of the Shore Park Complex, and view this, 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 this documentary with my people, you know, and, and just relive the memories of the good days that I had you know, back in Tobago because. This episode that they're going to see is what took place in Tobago. Nice. What happened in Scarborough, what happened in Wilson Road in the Pontiac by Trintock Tobago All Star, what happened by the music teacher that was giving me so much, so much, I was given so much problems. So it, 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 it could be epic. I, I hope it could be epic that everybody receive it. This is likewise, like how I want to receive it too. I have no doubt about that. And I thank you so much for joining us yet again this morning to chat yeah, about man, it. You, you wake me up early this morning again, you know, Panama season starts, you know, so I, I was in the party yard working late, but... I'm looking forward, I'm looking to forward to the selection for this year, for next year. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll check back in about that as well. Thank you so much, Duvon. Enjoy yeah, your man, day. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> Blessings. That's Blessings. Mr. Duvon Stewart. The documentary is premiering in Tobago. It's happening next Thursday, the man behind the music, December 7th at... Uh, Shaw Park Complex, the main auditorium, it's happening at 6.30 p.m. and it's absolutely free. So you want to be there and make sure you walk with some napkins. Trust what I tell me, just walk with some napkins. We'll take a quick break and come back with more inside the now morning show. Stay tuned. <laughs>